All right. Good afternoon and welcome everybody to the Practice Accelerator Challenges. This is your host of the day, Kate Archibald, and really excited to have some two badasses here with me today. We got Dr. Dan Kellums from Colorado, Denver area, and we got uh, Master Reagan Archibald from the uh, the wild west of salt uh he's actually in midway all right well how you guys doing awesome all right we're gonna i i like that uh ray uh dan was talking about how to go with go wellness yeah yeah let's talk about that dan because a lot of people are uh you know we we got people joining go wellness we actually had uh, 10 new members recently sign up for our peptide course Nice. Um, and so it's, you know, if you had to uh, give people advice, uh, you know, on, on what it's like to fully experience Go Wellness, what, what advice would you give? Well, I'd say one, you know, one thing to keep in mind is it's going to feel like a lot, especially if it's the first time. So it's, it's usually a lot of information. Um, it can, it can feel like a little bit of excitement overwhelm, right? Because it's all this new stuff coming at you, a lot of things that you want to implement. So as far as advice, I'd say, you know, come in, take a lot of notes, you know, whatever, however you learn best, you know, I, you're going to, you're going to get some visual, you're going to, you know, you're going to, you're going to get some auditory, some kinesthetic for sure. Yep. A lot of shaking hands and, and greeting, but, you know, I always you know, if you, if people have an idea of what they're, what they're wanting to get out of it and then try to walk away with three major pieces mm. that they can implement as soon as possible. I think it's one of the best ways to, uh, to get going and, and come in and take the most out. Cause there's, there's so many, um, man, there's just so many brains just that are going to be there. There's going to be so much one of the things I think also, and because there's a lot of takeaway to be had from the side conversations. Yeah. Right? So, you know, come with any questions you have and, and one, do not come in feeling like an outsider, come in, share ideas, ask questions, explore areas that you've, you've been uncertain with and just really sponge everything you can from the group. But I'd say like walking away so you don't feel like it's like, um, you know, paralysis by analysis where there's so much information. Try to take top three things that are going to move your practice forward and implement those and really focus in and hone in on um, gathering the details on those pieces. Yeah, I think that's great advice because uh, I'll tell you what Go Wellness is not. We're not a we're not an organization that teaches the same thing over and over again. You know, I've I've signed up for a lot of training programs and coaches and and I'm like, wait, we just we went through this last time I was here, and then it's just kind of rinse and repeat, right? Yeah. Go wellness. Uh, even though we have the same four sessions throughout the year, we have our you know, our, our art of medicine, we have our innovating medicine, we have our, like our thinking process, like Einstein's tools, and then, then the recovery process. But, but really, every time we're sharing new studies, new insights, there's going to be some of the old that we bring with us. But um, make sure you come with your creative mindset, because that's, that's what we need. So Go Wellness is a, a great way that you can learn to put in new services and and learn to think differently about your practice so that you become and stay cutting edge. So innovative medicine is kind of what we, what Dan came up with. I'm like, yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's, it's, I've called it collaborative medicine in the past because it's collaborative medicine, but then it's innovative medicine because we're never stopping, right? You're always looking for relationships to grow your practice. And that's what you said, Dan, you know, bring what you, bring your own genius and then we'll help you multiply that. But then also um, think about the innovations because uh, every time I go to a Go Wellness event, I learn a new innovation, and a lot of times it's from Dan. Yeah, no, it's 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 totally a back and forth thing. Like in all aspects of what we do, from uh, management, running the business, like you know what new things we're bringing in, how to improve what we've already been doing. Yep. You know, and then, and like finding, you know, a lot of times it's finding ways to use things that we already have differently. Yeah. You know, it's, it's so amazing. 
I think it's, it's such a powerful thing. And the innovation isn't necessarily always a new service or a new product. Again, sometimes it's a new way to address something that we've been doing for a while. Yeah, and we just, um, you know, one of the new trainings with our ROF is we had the deadline as far as the, the 3Ds, you know, you go through discovery, then design the program, and then the patient decides if they want to do it or not. And then the, the fourth thing that we recently added, this is an innovation, right? We added on a deadline, which is, okay, here, let's figure this out by noon tomorrow and, and then launch. And that's been like a, just a game changer. So that, yeah, there's just to your point, there's, there's a lot of different technology that comes out of the event, but um, I think the most meaningful thing for me with Go Wellness are just the relationships that's, that's been created. Like we have, there's, we have a no ego philosophy. I, we don't care. Like, yes, we care about your credentials and we want to pat you on the back. I think Paula, Dr. Paula, if you're hearing this, we love the fact that you're triple board certified. It's awesome. But if someone comes in and has zero board certifications and they're a health coach, for example, or just a healthcare entrepreneur, like we love that too. There's no, you know, it's, it's a, it's a group, it's a dynamic that you won't see in a lot of places where um, we just want to help you cultivate these amazing relationships and then compound what we're doing in healthcare. Cause really right now, Dan, I mean, the, the opportunities in healthcare, I don't know what your feeling is, but but like we have more and more work every year. Yeah. And, and I think there's just the, the market is huge for people who want to enter into this arena. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, and there's, <clears throat> there's so many different avenues that we find um, and areas with health that are being completely underserved, you know? And, and I, I think that's what the weird thing is, is there's like, the further we get into it, the more we discover like, hey, there's there's a whole area out here that's not even being touched upon that that really needs the the care that we're offering. Right. So okay. and new ways to reach those people. Yeah, you know, exactly. Like, I think, that, you know, it's we talk about, you know, what it means to be an entrepreneur. But I think part of it is also making things available to people that once you know, before didn't even know it was available to them. You know, I took a sociology class with my undergrad and the, uh, the professor, what he did is he had everybody think of something. It was a project that they could get that they didn't think anyone else in the class could get. And a lot of people brought in stuff that some people didn't even know you could get it. Right. Wow. And a lot of people don't know that they can get care for the conditions they're dealing with um, to the degree that we offer, you know, yeah, and that's the crazy thing. Like, I mean, um, even neuropathy, you know, you you brought in procaine and then the ARA290 and we just started going down that pathway. And the wild thing about that is, is my clinical outcomes, our clinical outcomes with neuropathy now has just been multiplied, it's been improved. And this is what we always see. And then there's going to be the next thing and the next and the, you know, medicine doesn't stop. And so, uh, you know, I look at Go Wellness as, um, if you are not coming to these events and if you're not really engaging, if you do come uh, and you're not engaging fully, you're missing out on the opportunity you have to really change somebody's life. Because that's what this is about is there are uh, so many people, I mean, chronic disease in our country, uh, it's not getting better. I mean, it's, uh, it, it, it's, I can't remember the newest statistic, but I think it's, um, uh, like 60% of Americans have at least one chronic disease. And of those, it's like 90% of those have more than three chronic diseases. So um, that's premature mortality. We're walk, walking around at younger and younger ages with chronic disease and we're, we're dying earlier, but we're still alive, you know? So yeah. it's, it's wild, but go wellness. We're reversing that. We're giving you guys uh, unique insights, you know, regenerative medicine, peptide therapy, functional medicine, bringing on the latest labs. We have some of the, the coolest scientists that show up and vendors that, you know, have novel uh, solutions. So, um, so yeah, I mean, to go with Go Wellness, it, it, it's really to say I'm choosing to, to accept the fact that I don't know everything in my practice. And you and I do that every quarter, right? Dan, it's, 
we host these events so we can learn from you guys too. And, and it's, it's basically like where you say this, I, I choose to evolve. I choose to look for the new things that are out there. And I want to meet with a group that, uh, that's got the right mindset and the right heart around it. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's, um, it, that becomes very clear also showing up in you. And that's, you know, the, the makeup of the group is very much that mindset just across, you know, it's, it's pretty awesome. Yeah. It's so fun. Well, um, well, we hope to see you guys there. You know, I really appreciate go wellness in uh, everything it is because what, what people don't see in go wellness is the fact that we're meeting all the time as a group. You know, I was on with Annie and Shawnee earlier and they're hustling and, and we've got, uh, you know, notes getting, uh, coming around, Dan and I are meeting on the content and how are we going, how can we really get people, uh, engaged in the learning process? Um, there's just a lot of back end work. And then we have the dinners that we set up I and mean, we serve some pretty damn good food at Go Wellness too, I'd say. Yeah. Oh yeah. Annie is amazing at getting some really delicious and incredibly nutritious and fun foods to have every time. Yep, we have our dinners. Usually we'll go to a restaurant one of the nights. We're going to have Cade's birthday party Friday. You know, Cade's uh, birthday is Friday. So he's, I think he's 35. 35, Ooh. right, Cade? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so you guys all better be there to, to party for my birthday. <laughs> yeah. No, but that that's how much these events uh, mean to us. I'll, I'll spend my birthday with you guys. How about it? Yeah, big Party deal. Time. I remember the. I remember uh, session four when you uh, we did our reward ceremony and then you headed out. Uh, so uh, it was Olive, right? Being born. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sierra was uh, very, very pregnant, and uh, like a couple <laughs> days later, had the baby. Yeah, was yeah, we're like, get out of here, kid. We're done. Oh, you're you're good. <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome. Man. Yeah, yeah, I think the, uh, I'm looking forward to, to the event, you know, and the fact that we maintained everything through the shutdowns and, oh man, it's awesome. Yeah, a lot of people just kind of rolled over and, you know, go wellness. What we did is we said, all right, well, Dan, what's working for you and you, you and I and Cade, we would just get together and brainstorm. We'd be like, we don't know what we're doing, but I can tell you the the best way to predict the future is to create it yourself. And so we said, okay, what tools do we have? Well, we have this cool thing called Zoom and now more and more people know how to press the button. And so then, uh, you know, Dan, you, would, you were piloting the workshops. We were doing our webinars and had the whole team on the back end. And then in two years, I mean, we've been able to just like fast flow. It's literally been two years since we had to go all virtual. And uh, now our systems, what we're gonna train on two years later is 10 times more effective and efficient than it was when we first launched it. But that's, that's the beautiful thing with it is, is we all learn together and we grow so much faster. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. Just how fast, you know, when you have, you know, when you have a team of people implementing everything with their own twist on it, you quickly develop a knowledge base on a previously unknown way to do things. You know, that's, what's crazy about it. It's a shortcut because, you know, entrepreneurs, what we do is we get together and share shortcuts with people. Wow. Hey, how do you get rid of neuropathy the fastest? Oh, you're using procaine, all right, you know, whatever. Hey, how do you get rid of osteoarthritis in the knee? Oh, here's the regenerative medicine, but don't just do that. Do this, this, and this, and then you'll get a maximum result. Okay, got it. Hey, how do you build a robust team? How do you have a practice that can run with or without you? Okay, here's the shortcut I took. Here's all the mistakes I made. I mean, it's it's a, it's a million dollar uh, idea brewing session. I mean, it's an idea factory that's worth a million dollars every time you meet up because we, we save you all those costly mistakes that most entrepreneurs make because we're making them all the time or we're learning from each other. <laughs> Yeah, that's the beautiful thing is you guys get to learn from all of our mistakes. At least hopefully you learn from them and, and uh, listen. That, that's, that's the biggest problem with, uh, with entrepreneurs is usually it's like, okay, I see this track. I'm going down this way and you're not going to talk me out of it. 
because uh, that, that's the decision I made. And so, yeah, sometimes you, you got your own idea and, and run with it. But if, if uh, yeah, usually you can learn a lot more from uh, what, what mistakes we've made and then what mistakes we haven't. That's, that's really what we love to share is what's working. Hey everybody, Reagan Archibald here. I hope you enjoyed the Go Wellness show and maybe learned a couple things you could apply to your practice. If you're a healthcare entrepreneur who wants to work in an academic think tank with like-minded humans who are just like you, looking to provide better service, better quality of care for your patients, reach us at info at and we're happy to do a free practice analysis for you.